felt like. Oh, uh -oh. Lord, that's a dead. Yeah, no, they're turning it back on the main. He just needs to snipe him, but he doesn't have the mana for the raise. He has the bottle up first. He got zapped. Wow. Lanham comes out of nowhere, hits him with an ether shock, and it's gonna be a comfortable move to gank middle. Who, who sees a bat right early gank this early? They move in, they get the lift, and in flame should go down here. One more smack right there from the stick. Baby's Brewmaster gets the kill, and suddenly we're all evened up. They got that tier one smoke gate coming out of the top. No blink dagger yet, but he wants to get something no happening. Yeah, he flies right up and over. He can't even lasso the Luna, but they don't even need it. They just easily lift her up, throw her back into the arms of Maybe, and they get the kill. So that's what we call the caster curse puppy. When you start, uh, I should need a little bit more time before it becomes a bit more easy. Mid lane, wow, yeah, they jump in and they just quickly annihilate the two E home members. They are able to get the tier one, but they don't get to walk away with their lives. Nice quick rotation in. They get the job done. And Silar gets a TK. He's getting pretty dang close to his supernova, but we'll check out mid lane here. Luna's got her eclipse, of course, at the ready. Has yet to use it, but they're making a move on Inflame. Diving on forward, splitting out the bears, and they take him down. There's the eclipse, but they just cyclone her up immediately, and now they're waiting for her to come down so they can get her. There's going to be the rock connection. ROTK looking to get involved. He's going to get thrown up in the air next. Luna should go down here and will go down. It's a dominating streak for maybe. There's going to be the lasso, grabbing on the DDC. Adventure Spirit able to get off a magic missile on the maybe as he makes the walk away. Nice stun connection onto Lanham. There's a Supernova Egg, but they're going to start focusing in, and there's the kill. The swap back not going to be enough there from DDC. Now maybe smacks down Lanham. Oh, he's going to get caught right there from DDC and his right click, but they quickly get revenge for that one as they take him down. A lot of bloodshed here in the mid lane puppy, but it is going to be a four for two trade advantage for LGD. Smoked up. They want to go for mid. Like Lasso, DDC is going to get into the hex, but they Laguna land them. They get DDC down. They want both supports, and they will make it a twofer. Killing spree for Silar, and it's MMY who gets the second kill there. LGD at a coming in. advantage. There's RTK again. He's like, there's a fight. I got to be there. Middle tower but it's too late attack. for him. He's got to be careful. Pre farm and work with, but LGD are kind of putting up the pressure now. And not Dyer's making it so easy for Eho, the team that would probably ideally like to go for Roche at a good time. Now they're going to be losing their tier one mid. It's not going to be as easy. There's oh, our OTK diving in. in. He gets telekinesis up. He goes down immediately. No egg for him. And now in flame. Tries to snipe down, get a couple of raises, but he could be the one in trouble. MMY with the stolen dive. Yeah, that was funny. That's so funny. Look at He goes down. Now Silar moves on through. He's dominating as he just takes down in flame. They get the stun on Lanham. He's going to be able to walk away, it looks like. And, well, they just kind of focus and take down some of the extra bits of gold from those wards. All right, okay. Eclipse as ZYF does show up. Is that a stolen Eclipse? Oh, it's a stolen Lucid Beam. But he is able to get a quick snipe and help bring down DDC. And now Luna will be next. This is a disaster for Eho. They just each start going down one by one. ROTK, who just got back, he's now looking to get involved. Okay. If he went down again, that would have been ridiculous, but... That is a huge fight. LDD suddenly up 16. Awkward pulled the side, and and they kind of had to let him go. But they're still here to fight. There's going to be the Laguna. It's on the ROTK. Silar suddenly shows up and gets a double kill. Well, he was. They should have aggressively played there, though, when they saw Silar top lane. I think there's no passivity. Xiao Wei is in. Nearby. Xiao Wei will peep in. Sees it happening, pings it out. There's gonna be the nuke. Batrider shows up, gets insta-hexed. And there's an immediate return of Eclipse. They take down the Batrider. Laguna will Frost fly and finish out Lanham, but yeah. They gets the ward stolen after he does put them down. Buyback. And there's the buyback. And the Y moves in. And he doesn't even be, he can't even get his own wards down. So he's gonna get dropped. DDC is gonna go down. Silar gets another kill, making it a wicked six streak. Now he's up in arms with Luna. Luna's looking to chase him down, then decides he's you know, step back in a way as he could as easily morph up the strength. But it ends up being a two for two when the dust just spawned up. They yeah. want to go for this push middle, I guess. Because every spell of them is up. Maybe with an invis rune running around. Yeah. Gonna catch up two heroes right now. He is. We got the two man RTK's clap. Dead. RTK. Not, not hard to finish off without Supernova and then Luna. Quickly taken down, and they get the throw up onto Lanham. He comes down, and he's dead. Suddenly, three EHO members are down. Make it maybe four now, as 
They get this kidnap on the DDC, bring him back to the outside world. And okay, what feels like about 10 seconds, puppy. Quickly, four EHO members are dead, and LGD. Yeah, how, how can you talk about on the replicate? Laguna on the ROTK, he's gonna get the mech off, but that doesn't matter. They just quickly wipe the floor with them. Godlike now for Silar. And Lanham's gonna be buying back again. They get the grab on the Silar here, and he will go down. That's just the Aegis life, however. Well, they time out a stun with the Centaur, but it's just not gonna be enough to stop him from just kind of walking on out, so. Okay, I guess. No, Here you're we wrong. Go, Panda, jump in. <laughs> Here they go. Creeping on in. Maybe he's going to jump, get the clap on the in flame, and tries to keep him back. There's going to be the Eclipse on the return here. Not really doing significant damage quite yet, as Zhao is just going to simply yules himself up away from it. And now, Yao, going to get brought down. Okay, a one for one trade. MMY shoots on forward, and they're able to get the bring down of ROTK. And yeah, Gem goes down as well. I've stolen Lucy. He's a player. I don't know what to tell you. He has yet to even use I mean, the Eclipse. Players, you know? They're good. Yeah, last series, Kaka did a ridiculous Rubik game as well, and we're seeing it demonstrated here from MMY. And they will be able to shift back, and suddenly MMY shows up. He steals wards, <laughs> and they get the kill. Onto Lanham. Another ultimate for MMY, sure enough. And they're not able to bring down that Tier 3. Just get it to about half. And what happened, what was the damage done up here? They got the one racks, the, the melee racks in the tier three, and they're getting the pull on a DDC. They take him down. ROTK does have supernova, but yeah, he goes down so quick he can't even can't even hit that R button fast enough. And that's it, puppy. We're done. GG. E home go down, game one. And I don't know what R that means. ROTK got a uh, death ball, and he's like, nah man, I don't I don't have this thing at, you know. Um, GG got right there. Well, I don't know what any of that means. I don't know if it's if it's your shit talk or just or what, but it was it was pretty significant performance there from LGD.